We will now show you how the activities in the English experience are based on this methodology. This will help you to use the series effectively. The first page of every unit is the unit opener. This page contains the unit purpose, the social practices that students will take part in, and the language functions that they will practice throughout the unit. The English experience covers all the language contents indicated in the official program and offers a balanced variety of activities in terms of text types, language skills, and patterns of interaction. Lessons also have clear and detailed instructions for every activity. Lessons are always two pages long and follow the entire cycle of experiential learning. They begin with a pre-reading or pre-listening activity. The aim of this activity is to activate students' previous knowledge or schemata about a given topic. We got at the middle a picture. Who can describe the picture? What do you see in that? Raise your hand, yes? There are two women looking at some advertising. There are clothes. Okay, there are some clothes, yes? I guess it's a dark and green magazines. Okay, maybe there are some magazines. Okay, funny. Read number one where it says experience it. Read exercise A. Would you, with your t shirt, look at the picture and answer the question? Okay, Maria, please, can you read the first question? What is the one your mother reading Tell me, if you need to say it in Spanish, tell me. Okay, un catalogo, in this case it's a catalog, okay? What else do you think that maybe they are? Uh, yeah, they are the same catalog of clothes. Uh, for clothes. What is the characteristic of looking at a catalog? Yes. You can see various products. Okay. You can see the products. What else? You can see the offers. Okay, you can see the offers, the things that maybe that are in sale. Um, prices. Prices, yes. yes. Um, types of clothes. Okay, different kinds of clothes. What else? Where can you find these kind of catalogs? Where? Where do you think that you can have shop? You where? In shops. Clothes shops. Okay, clothes shops. Okay, yes. Okay, supermarket. Sometimes you can find them in the supermarket. In the malls. Okay. What else? Where else? And how do you say what's the Okay, in a news. Next, there is a text, which can be oral or written, followed by exercises that focus on the interpretation of the text. Remember that this is the stage of concrete experience, where students see the language in context and where they have to make sense of the text as a whole. Students may find some texts challenging. There may be a number of words that they don't understand. It is important that you help them realize that they can understand the sense of a text even if they don't know all the words. Explain that they can often work out the meaning of words by paying attention to context and what they already know about the subject. Pre-reading or pre-listening activities, as well as text work activities, are always covered in Section 1. Experience it. The next part of the lesson is called Think About It. This is the stage when we ask students to reflect on their experience of the text. This means looking back at the text and focusing on a specific language item. By directing students' attention to an aspect of the language, we help them to observe the language item first. Then, through questions that have students think about or reflect on the language point, we guide students towards conceptualizing how that aspect of the language works. It is important to say that the teacher's role at this stage is mainly that of a facilitator. 
This means that the teacher will not explain how a language works, but will help students work that out for themselves. Remember, it is students who need to do the reflection and the thinking. Your role is to support them in that process and guide them when necessary. The final activities in the lesson are aimed at getting students to practice or experiment with what they have learned. Depending on the language function being learned in the lesson, practice is oral or written, or a mixture of both. Practice exercises also move from controlled to freer activities. Try it out sections generally present controlled exercises where students projection is limited to individual words or sentences based on a model. In the use it section, students are given freer practice exercises which allow them to personalize information and produce texts rather than words or phrases. In some lessons, you will find pair work activities that refer students to the pair work section at the back of the book. These are semi-controlled information gap activities that provide situations in which students will use the language in context and in a meaningful, communicative way. The Teacher's Guide is an essential tool for you to make the most of the English experience. Every lesson in the student's book is reproduced in the Teacher's Guide, and the answers to all the activities are provided. At the beginning of each lesson in the Teacher's Guide, you will find a content box. This provides all the elements you need in order to plan your lesson and establish your class objectives. They also indicate any extra materials you will need so that you can prepare them in advance. Comencemos provides simple and creative ways of starting the lesson. These are warm-up activities that will both focus your students' attention and introduce the topic of the lesson. If you see this, can you imagine what we are going to do? What do you think that we are going to play? A game. What is that? The name of the game? No, it's tic-tac-toe. So we are going to divide in two teams. This team, that is team O. What are you going to choose? Decide in your group what is the word that you are going to pick. That? That? that. Okay. <coughs> I have two that. Which one of those? At the corner? Okay. This part. Tell me the sentence. Only one person give me the sentence using that. Mm -hmm. I like that cup. I like that house, okay, correct. You have your uh, with blue, your circle. This team, you have to put something there, okay. This is a good English class. Okay. It's obvious, right? It's correct, but again, beautiful. Try to use other words. This dog is, is crazy. Okay, this dog is crazy. So, we have a winner here. Very good. Immediately after Comencemos, the teacher's guide describes the procedure you need to follow in order to conduct activities related to the text. That is, the doing stage of the experiential learning cycle. These instructions also tell you what materials you will need and the suggested pattern of interaction for each activity. Think About It gives step-by-step -step instructions for this stage of the lesson. Remember that this stage comprises both the noticing and the learning stages of the experiential learning cycle. After Think About It, you will find the Try It Out and Use It sections. These provide detailed instructions on how to handle the practice activities that correspond to the using stage of the experiential learning cycle. Finally, Para Concluir presents practical ideas for you to close your lesson in an enjoyable way. At the back of the teacher's guide you will find five exams, one for each unit. These exams focus on the main language aspects of each unit. They will therefore help you to a. measure students' progress and b. 
Identify students' difficulties in order to plan remedial work. The correct answers to the exams are also provided in the teacher's guide.